Hi and welcome back. Now in this chapter, let's have an understanding of Azure Active Directory. So what are we going to learn? So what is Azure Active Directory and how does it work? We are also going to look at the pricing options. So Azure Active Directory is a cloud-based identity and access management service. Now here you could go ahead and create users and groups in Azure AD. You can also assign licenses to users. So I'll explain this when we go on to Azure. You can also give access to your resources in Azure to users defined in Azure AD. You can also grant different roles to users in Azure AD and we're going to be looking at this when we look at role-based access control. So how does it work? So basically when you go ahead and create your Azure account, you get an instance or a directory for Azure AD wherein you can go ahead and manage your users and groups. So you could have a user who could authenticate onto your account via Azure AD and that user could be given access to your subscription. So basically the user could access different resources as part of your subscription such as a SQL database or a virtual machine. Now there are different pricing options when it comes to Azure AD. So first you have the Azure Active Directory Free so by default, when you go ahead and create your account, this is what you get. Here, this gives you or provides you users and group management. It also provides on-premise directory synchronization, basic reports and self-service password change for cloud-based users. Now, next we have Azure Active Directory Premium P1. Now here, hybrid users can access both on-premise and cloud resources. It also supports the use of dynamic groups, cloud write back capabilities, and self service password reset for on premise users. We then have Azure Active Directory Premium P2. This provides important features such as Azure Active Directory identity protection and privilege identity management. So let's go on to Azure to explore Azure Active Directory. So here we are in Azure. So you can actually go on to the icon over here. So if I just scroll down a little bit. So this is Azure Active Directory. So let's go on to it. So remember, this is your identity store, wherein you could define your users, your groups, could also go ahead and enroll your applications. So there is a lot that you can actually do with Azure AD. Now, when you go ahead and create your Azure account, you get something known as a default directory for your users and groups and other artifacts which belong to Azure AD. This directory has something known as a tenant ID, which helps to identify this particular directory. Now, apart from that, you can see over here that this directory is an Azure AD Premium P2 directory. Now, if you are starting off using Azure AD, this might show up as Azure AD free. So remember, this is the default licenses that you actually get with Azure AD. But when you want to try out features such as self-service password reset, or maybe conditional access, you know, other features that you don't get in Azure AD free, then you have to go ahead and upgrade your licenses onto Azure AD Premium P2. Now, if I actually go on to the licenses section over here, so you could also go ahead and get a free trial of Azure AD Premium P2. So if I scroll down over here, you can actually activate a free trial. So this gives you 100 licenses that will be active for 30 days. Now, please note after 30 days are over, 
you will not be charged your account will just be downgraded from azure active directory premium p2 on to active directory free that's it and please note you can only activate this once now if you want to go ahead and actually buy licenses what you have to do also is you have to go ahead and create a work or a school account so in a particular directory what i've gone ahead and done firstly i've gone ahead and registered something known as a custom domain so you need to have a domain in place so over here this domain has been bought from an external domain provider known as godaddy so this domain has been bought once you buy a domain you can go ahead and register that domain in azure ad once you go ahead and register the domain in azure ad you can actually go ahead and create users based on that domain so over here i have gone ahead and created a user at the rate at that domain name so remember that our default domain so if i go ahead on to all users if i go ahead on to my main account so you can see this is at gmail.com but when you want to go ahead and actually buy azure ad licenses you can't use this account you have to go ahead and use a work or a school account so i've gone ahead created a user assign the role of a global admin and then when you want to go ahead and purchase licenses you can go ahead and log in with this account so over here i'm in the azure active directory pricing page so if i scroll down so you have your different versions you have the free you have something for office 365 applications you have premium p1 and you have premium p2 so here you can see all of the features for each of the license types now if i scroll down i want to go on to the pricing section so when it comes to azure ad free obviously it's free when it comes to azure ad premium p1 you pay six dollars per user per month and when it comes to azure ad premium p2 you pay nine dollars per user per month so please note that when you actually want to try out advanced features in azure ad you would need to buy licenses so again coming back to the licenses in my azure ad account so if i go on to all products so currently i have azure active directory premium p2 licenses so currently i have assigned one license and i have two licenses available so you can go ahead and assign licenses on to your users so azure ad has a lot of features now it just depends on the particular license type that you choose right so this marks the end of this chapter on azure ad for more details check the link in the description learn with wits labs success certified